Woo woo! Welcome back to Tasting with Tia. How's everybody doing? We're gonna get into this food that looks really different. I know. Then we're gonna get into this wig. Because we're all trying to figure it out. Don't even worry. So, guys, we have some, I think this is barbecue chicken. But it's kind of lightly barbecued and we use sugar-free. We should have got the name of that barbecue. I'm going to put it in the subscription. Don't worry about it. It's sugar-free. Um, and it's seasoned amazingly. And then we put it in the, what's that thing called? The uh, Instapot. The Instapot. Instapot chicken. I made my sausage again. I have some asparagus. And we have some un-barbecued chicken. un -barbecue chicken. Like that's <laughs> really weird. Okay? Anyway, so that's what I have. And in the back right here, I have some, let me just remember. You got some sriracha in here. I have sriracha, hot sauce, and barbecue sauce. Because I wanted to dip my um, my sausage in those. So. Okay, I always try to flip this hair to the wrong side. But oh, anyway, y'all. What's going on with your hair? So this is... Let me eat. Um, We're going to talk about this whole scene, y'all. Asparagus is cooked in avocado oil. And seasoned with some herbs and mostly onion powder. Because onion powder is my favorite thing. So, my wig came today. Thank you guys, the company who sponsored my wig. I'll put their name in the bottom. Just want you to know, this is like my first time ever wearing a whole wig. I've worn a U part before, and that was sold in, so it's kind of different. Y'all, this wig is making me happy. My whole family hates it, but I like it. Especially who? Who cares? Anyway, <laughs> I feel so, it's like... Okay, when you first are wig wearers, I'm only talking to you. When you first put on a wig, did you feel like it was hugging you? I feel like I'm being hugged constantly. Is it too tight? Is something going on? I don't know. So first what I did was I put my hair. I'm going to start off with my sausage. Oh, no, I must brown them big old pieces of chicken. they creepy looking. So. All right. Let's look. I ain't even got to say it. You know what time it is. <coughs> see? See? <laughs> <coughs> what was that about? It's a spice. Anyway. Off the sausage? And the spice. Remember, this is sriracha hot sauce and barbecue chicken. Y'all, when I put it on, I didn't know what I was doing. When I first got home, I slicked my hair back in the ponytail and put it on. I look crazy. I look crazy. <laughs> so... After yeah, you had no fans. I had no fans, right? So then I did my hair in two French braids, and it came out a little bit better. Well, not really, because I'm not really a good braider, so it's kind of thick. I had to be the humps on the side. And then I um I put it in the ponytail again. I slicked it back again. And it was better, but I had my ponytail hanging out the back, down my back, so it was kind of weird. So while my husband and daughter were out practicing driving, I was like, let me stuff this ponytail up in the back of this wig. The magic happened. That hug I'm talking about, my head is like being hugged. I can't even explain it. Like wig wearers, I know why you wear the wig. It's the hug. It's the wig hug. It's the wig. A wig hug. Mmm. Tia tastes. I'm so against this. Y'all love this wig. And it's synthetic. So, I curled it in. Because I didn't know you can curl synthetic hair. I plan on getting some real ones. But guys. It does almost look like your regular hair. It really does. I'm saying. I won't say that. But. I'm trying to say it. I just feel like if you got it, you should just want it. Hmm. I mean, that's not what the people feel like. They have it. We don't care. I love this. I can work out now. I can go to the gym. I don't have to worry about my hair looking crazy. We can still go out on a night on the town. And I don't have to worry about my hair. But I can't run my fingers through your hair anymore. Just remember the good times. <laughs> Tell them. Remember the good time. I mean, we'll go back and forth, but right now, I've just been initiated into this new world. 
and I love it. <laughs> so, I know y'all like, what is this girl doing with them chick on legs? No, because they're too big and creepy looking. And this thing going to have my food one. My things ain't one. That's okay. You see, they big, and it's like, I can't that's do that. A, and that's the barbecue sauce. Why are you over there? Only because you got more barbecue sauce. So if I were to eat this, if I was like truly desperate, I would just pick it apart first. And let me show you why I don't like legs. It's a piece right there, guys. You see that vein or whatever the hell it is? That's why I don't do legs. And I dropped it right on the floor. Oh, oh my goodness. We gotta get a dog so he can eat all the food on the floor. That's so true. now I will eat the rest though. That part turns me off though. Mm. Don't ask me how I feel about the chicken. Ain't nothing wrong with this chicken. It's not spicy enough. I need some spice. It gotta be sp that skin is kind of slimy. Yeah, I'm not eating that. This is your husband's style chicken. Yeah, he likes that. Like, I want to put mine in the oven. It gotta be burnt. Oh, I don't even trust that. He dropped his food on something. <laughs> on carpet. And I ain't even cursed. Mm hmm. But. My chicken would be burnt. You guys see some crisp. It gotta sound crispy. Those sausages are still everything though. These pineapple sausages, y'all? They game changes the life. You don't even need no dip with them. I'm just doing it because I like spicy. We can, de we can definitely rock out with those during our barbecues and stuff. Oh yeah, we should have barbecued them today. We could have, we could have. Y'all, the weather is so beautiful. Like today was only 63 degrees and I know that sounds like cold. I didn't even have to wear a jacket or anything. It was just nice. I had on like a light little teeny sweatshirt. And I'm good. I ain't had asparagus in a minute. What I do with these is just put them in, I take a big thing of them, put them in um, to my olive oil, put my seasons, and just... Can you throw some butter in there too? Uh-uh. -uh. Avocado oil. No butter and avocado oil though. That ain't good. But I love these things. I miss them sometimes. No, but... Team wig. Do you like a wig over um, a, weave? a weave? Ooh. Yeah. Really? No, ask me why. Why? Because I'm tender headed and I ain't sitting there for them damn braids that hurt you and then they sew and then they try to kill you. That's why I started wearing my own hair. I got tired of being hurt by the weave. <laughs> now, a lot of your tastes have no idea what tender headed means. Well, they know. You know them cries when somebody. Some people hurt. think that's nappy though. No. I can feel anything that's done to my head. The slightest comb touch pinch, I can feel it. I have this amazing tender headed thing going on. That's because your hair is so thin. First of all, my hair is thick as heck. It's thicker than this wig. What is this guy talking about? Because your hair is so thin. <laughs> I used to dream of having thin hair. I used to pray that I would have thin hair so my mom would hurt me with the comb and brush. I used to hide the comb and brush from my mother. I'll throw them away. I would hide them under the couch. My mother stopped doing my hair at nine. She was like, oh, I'm over you. Go on, figure it out. And I had to go figure it out. And so I just- So how went. long did you have an apple? An apple? <laughs> I never had an apple. You had to figure it out yourself? Oh, figure it out myself. I just did two ponytails, uncombed. Like the Sealy, Sealy ponytail? They wasn't that kind. They was uncombed. <laughs> they was unmanaged and uncombed. Let me tell you. This is really different eating my own food versus eating some food from the store. I think it's better this way. No, I really don't want to go to the store. <laughs> <laughs> when I look when I look at the bank account, I say it's better this way. Mm-hmm. Cause honestly guys, we have so much food. We have to eat it. 
And what we are doing now, because I'm going to keep it real with y'all, right? We ain't going to be live playing no games. When I do these mukbangs, they will be eating what's in the house. And sometimes mama will be eating what Tia and the tasters wants to eat. And the cameraman. No, <laughs> he will be eating what the kids eat. <laughs> There'll be one big happy family. <laughs> Ain't gonna let the kids think he over there eat good. They ain't gonna be eating bad. Y'all just can't. We just gotta ration this out. We gotta keep it real. You know what I'm saying? You gotta take care of the production team, man. If the production team ain't taken care of, then quality of the video ain't gonna come out right. (laughs) If y'all only knew how far his production (laughs) is going. (laughs) Literally hitting record. (laughs) I am the master of this domain. So, we do like to make sure everybody's taken care of, but I think I'm going to eat half of the salt, so I probably won't eat it all. Alright, because I was just thinking about eating one of those. Well, you're going to eat all that chicken. Well, Kirsten's going to eat some. What about the other sausage? Though? I'm so full. I I'll take that. I'm done. I hope this ain't such a short video. <laughs> but I think I'm seriously like full. Honestly, would have been good with those green lip muscles again. Yeah, you really like those, huh? Y'all. Before this week is over, we doing a full green lip muscle mukbang. I feel like you are more happy just talking to your talking to your tasters. You could care less what you eat. Honestly. We need to do both. They want to see me eat and they want to hear me talk. <laughs> I want to talk to you and I want to eat. See, this combination goes <laughs> hand in hand. That's true because this is usually your first meal of the day. Oh, yes. I'm so full. I'm trying not to be full. Like, my stomach was kind of acting up earlier. I took my enzymes last night, but I should have taken them this morning and I didn't. I got to remember. I have very, and not to say, excuse me. <laughs> Uh, Excuse me, man of me is coming out. Anyway, no, really, but like, I have to remember, like, and y'all, Mason, we have no idea where he's at right now. We're just being quiet. He's in the house. He's in, he's in our room, chilling. Yeah, he, he has my laptop. No, he doesn't. What does he have? Netflix on the TV. Oh, he's doing something. Because y'all, he quiet. That's no talk. He's about. Netflixing and cooling. Y'all, he has off school all week, like I said before. <laughs> Mason has spent three parts of his day in timeout, and the other part is playing. <laughs> yeah, he had, he had a he had a rough start. It, it was a decent day though. I mean, three timeouts ain't that bad. Yeah, he just we we got we love him enough to give him some form of discipline because I like I said, guys, don't forget I work with these types of children, and I'm not saying types, but children are diagnosed with the same thing my son is. And as we even learn as parents, like consequences are everything. everything. Like has to be some consequences. Even with our bigger actions. ones, we're seeing like they have to realize there are consequences. Like Kirsten just had some major teenage cornball beef, because I call it corny. But you know, like she needed to know consequences. Like you can't run out the house because somebody tell you to pull up. No, we don't pull up. Don't you gotta have a car for that? I just figured out what that means. Like, I was like, "Hey, what you mean?" You, she's like, no. cool she told me to pull up." I said, "But you don't have a car. Don't you have to pull up in the car?" I don't she pulled up with her sneakers. She pulled up on her sneakers. Like, <laughs> I'm like, that's not even. They don't even have skates at the bottom. Like, you can't run out that. And then she didn't listen to my demand, which was, "Don't go. I don't want you to get in trouble." So she had to have consequences for her actions, and we took her phone from her and. Like, we realized that, like, and even I realized that I had a lot of, like, my mom, Cheryl, mm-hmm, you, what she did with me, she did not do with those those other ones. And I think that's the difference between us now. If you look back, my mom will bust up in my tail, like. Well, we know how many whoopings I got compared to my Your brother, brother right. <laughs> and how many I had compared to my siblings. What? Shout out to EL. Shout out to all of these people. <laughs> Y'all lucky. Because my mama ain't play. I think when you get older and you have children, it's more of a layback. And then with me, excuse me, like Taylor, who is also special needs, it was like, like I babied her more because, but I also 
prepared her. I think I prepared, I, I tried to prepare her for the world, but like either way, like she still has things that we struggle with. Like we were just sitting here recording her cracking up because <laughs> she really like Taylor falls in love every Tuesday. <laughs> every Tuesday there's, there's somebody else. And we go through the falling in love part and then we have to be a part of her. Okay, we ain't in love no more. And I'm sad. And that is like a struggle, y'all. I mean, we might be laughing right now, but you come to live this life. Like one day, what if we do that? How about, would y'all like 48 hours of my life? Wow. Ooh. I'd be willing to give you non-stop, no camera. I won't edit. I want you to see. Even parts with dealing with me? I'll put you in the closet. <laughs> the rest? <laughs> we can't jeopardize this job. They all need to know the rest. Matter of fact, matter of fact when you go away, because it'll be in the next two weeks, he's going to be traveling. When he has to go travel, I'm going to do it. So he won't have anything to do with this. Y'all, I want you to see life in this house. <laughs> it's hilarious. Like, we laughing now. <laughs> but sometimes... I'll be like... I mean, we do have an organized chaos. I mean, it's it's, is there it's chaos. Thing? Is there a such thing? Mm. You're so organized. <laughs> Listen, we're going to write... That's going to be our book. We're coming out with a book too, guys. But Ooh, this other chaos. book is going to be organized chaos. <laughs> Still don't know what that means, but... Is that going to come out after your other book? Yeah, definitely. This other book's coming out soon. Hold on, guys. Kirsten's here. I sorry. We had a bossy, uh, almost 16-year-old come in here. That's all we're gonna say. So anyway, yeah. So I'm going. We're gonna. I want to have a book coming out, and then after that, we'll do the organized noise. Don't steal our name. We need to go write that. Let's go copyright it. Like, you said organized noise. What I say? What did you say? Organized chaos. You see how I repeated back what I wanted to hear. And then she screams on me. That's life. <laughs> I don't scream on him. I just believe that men don't hear us. They don't hear us. He has. And we know this. You have boxes in your head. Remember, we went to the thing. Men have boxes in their head, guys. In we case you women a, didn't know. We went to a... a it was like so fun. Like, uh, what was the name of the guy? Oh, a marriage retreat? Yeah, it was so fun. And like, you learn so much Mark, about Mark men. Mark Gunger. Yes, Mark yeah. Gunger. Look him up on YouTube, right? Men have like... Say they have 25 boxes in their head. One is for... One is like... Actually, they're like... Most of them are completely empty. Right. But they have one where they receive what we say. But it's usually full yeah. all the time. <laughs> so if you said something on Tuesday, he's still trying to get what you said the Tuesday before. I listen to everything you say. I can literally re repeat back to him everything he said to me. Or when I'm listening and I don't hear him, I say, what did you say? But one thing he did say is that men and women are wired differently. We are wired completely differently. And when he said that, I get it. By the time we came, remember this is the second time because we went twice. Honestly, we love it because you go. They give you mm -hmm. like a free place to stay. It's really nice. You'll be with other adults. They feed you really good, like fancy meals. And, and you, you go and to you, like a church service. It's really nice. And you do couple, um, couples like... Uh, uh, oh, it's like games and games things like, and that. like that. It's really cool because you learn about each other. But men and women are really, really wired differently. And like you learn that by the end of the thing, either where every couple is usually like men and women, you're feeling some kind of guilt. Like as the men, you're like, dang, like I really need to cherish my girl. And then the women were like, damn, the men aren't women. <laughs> because by the time the women are describing their ideal man, you're describing a woman. And I'm not even lying. Every time I go in there, we all look around like, oh, we're describing a woman. Like, a man is not a woman. A man is a man. And a woman is a woman. And no offense to any yeah. couples that are doing anything, go ahead, shout out, because we got all of that everywhere. We don't care. But, like, you're describing this woman, and the guy is just like, I just want to be a guy and be left alone. I just want to come home and eat dinner. But no, it's way more than that. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. I swear, one day, like, if, let's see if they have it here at this base. So we can go, do they have it? They had it. Did they already have it? Did they have another one coming up? I think it was down in San Diego. Dang, we should have went. When we go to the next one, we're going to go and then we're going to come back and talk about it. Y'all, it's so funny because it's just interesting because it was really real. Like, we are all wired so differently. And I think couples are different too because it depends on your circumstances in your house. Like, that's going to make everything different. Like, but definitely you know look up Mark Gunger and also uh, yeah. tell him that uh, Tasting with Tia sent you. Yeah, I'll be like, taste it with Tia. And then he'll be like, who is that? Because I wasn't tasting with Tia. Then. But that's 
okay because y'all don't need to say nothing else about it <laughs> so anyway guys i had so much fun chatting with you sorry i couldn't eat anything else them sausage fill my my stomach up and plus i had some pecans earlier and i might have had a couple shrimp something else and this but... was pretty impromptu yeah i didn't even know if i was recording today i was really going to just do uh a live which mm -hmm. i still may i put up a picture earlier and my 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 bestest told me to take it down and my daughter it was like what the? first of all my bestest was like okay i don't care about the scarf you put up them boobs with no underwire that is wrong <laughs> y'all was like oh yeah okay, i'll take it down so i'm gonna take some more pictures i don't want to take any more pictures though until like did you have it on your instagram or is it where, it wasn't, where, where's the picture i put it on i put it on youtube because i'm able to post now i just found that out like today <laughs> I don't even know what that means, but I was like, oh, I can pose. I can talk and all that. So that's cool for me. I really like it. So I'll be doing that often. And um, But I will drop different pictures. Yeah. I'm going to drop that picture back. I don't care about the boobs. Yeah. It's like, fun hanging out with you and my new wig and my husband and my food. So, am I funny or what? Hold on. Hold on. Let me just like that. Hold on. Let me just move it. Ooh, ooh. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Mm -hmm. So if they don't like your wig. No, you love my wig. Just say you love Because I'm coming back with it. She coming back. Oh, we gotta give her a name. What's her name? What, the wig? Yeah, all wigs have names. There's like, oh, what's the wig's name? Um, Wendy? Hell no, I ain't got a wig named Wendy. <laughs> Wendy the wig? No. Um, How about Firstborn? She is my first. No, no. Y'all, I'm getting more. I'm getting some colors. And I ain't get no damn colors. Okay, baby, I don't know. We'll see. Um, Y'all don't mind the back of whatever's going on because. I don't know what's going on over there. Okay. All right, now take it off so everybody can see your real hair. <laughs> Absolutely not. Actually, I will. Y'all ready? Do it. I'm brave. Do it. Actually, I will. Y'all ready? Do it. I'm brave. Do it. So, this is my hair. Wow. Y'all don't pay attention to the edges I'm over there losing. I'm going to keep my side, the side. Y'all just look, look at this side. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that was fun. I really love wigs. And I'm going to wear it again and again. He didn't think I would do it. I didn't think you was going to do it, but uh, I'm proud of you. It was fun. You know what? Hey, I you, love you it. You can do it. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I appreciate every last one of you. And if you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. And if you haven't already, hit the bell so you know when I'm coming back. Ain't like I got your number and I can just text you and be like, I'm about to drop one. Send me your number through email if you want. I don't really care. But anyway, hit that bell. Know when I'm coming back. Leave a comment if it's positive. Either way, I love you guys. Thanks for hanging out with us today. Stay blessed.